Welcome to Kristen Starfish, where we make a splash in the ocean and learn about the amazing sea creatures that inhabit it. I'm Kristen, and this is my cute and cuddly co-host Starfish. Today we're diving in to meet a very special group of fish, the damselfish. Okay, let's take a dive. Hi there, ocean explorers. I'm Dr. Starfish, your guide to the amazing underwater world. Today we're diving in to meet a very special group of fish, the damselfish. Now damselfish are small, but they're sure mighty. They live in coral reefs all around the world. Now let's swim closer and take a look. Look at all of these colorful little fish. Now damselfish can be yellow, blue, orange, and even striped like a zebra. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, that looks like a humpback damselfish. Wow, look at them swimming around the reef. How many white and black striped fish can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, even though they're small, they have big personalities. Let's see what makes them so special. Well, damselfish are like the underwater gardeners. Yeah, they eat algae and they keep the coral gardens neat and tidy. They munch on algae and that can actually help the coral stay healthy and happy. Yeah, then you can even grow more. Damselfish are also very protective of their homes. They'll chase away bigger fish, even scuba divers like us just to keep their little area safe. It's like saying, hey, this is my castle, you stay away. Don't worry, they're not being mean. They just wanna make sure their home is protected for them and their friends and babies. Okay, time for another fun fact. Did you know that some damselfish can change color? Yeah, they do this by communicating with other fish or they can do it to blend in with their surroundings. It's like having an underwater costume party. Whoa, that's amazing! Wow, what a day! Damselfish, they may be tiny, but they're mighty protectors of the reef and incredible underwater gardeners. Thanks for taking a dive with me. Remember, every creature in the ocean has a special role to play, just like you do. See you next time, explorers! Bye for now! You know, just like how sea creatures need a safe and nourishing environment to thrive, we also need to support our loved ones to feel safe and confident. Remember to be that bright and shining starfish that support others that need it too. Sometimes we have to give those little fish a helping hand. All right, let's go head out and do an activity. Welcome back to the buoyancy test. Yep, this is where we see if things sink or float. I've got a special treasure chest here. Let's see what's inside. <gasps> oh, we've got a sea rescue boat. Whoa, I hope this thing floats or else it's not doing a very good job. All right, sink or float. And it floats, even upside down. Okay, let's put it the right way. All right, who's next? <gasps> it's Spider-Man! All right, Spidey, do you like water? Spiders don't usually like water. Okay, yeah, it wrecks your web. Hmm, sink or float. <gasps> Whoa, big, big sinker. Heavy head on that guy. And who's next? <gasps> We've got Peppa Pig head. Yeah, this is like when you're playing with Play-Doh. Okay. Pretty light. What do you think, sink or float? And it floats. And last but not least, oh, it's the cute little princess ant. Okay, what do you think, sink or float? Hmm, ready? And she floats. Well, today on sink or float, one sinker 
and three floaters. See you again next time. Thanks for swimming along with us on Kristen Starfish. Remember, you have the power to make a positive change in the world. If you want to see more of these videos, please like and subscribe. I can be reached anytime at drkristenstarfish at gmail.com. Remember, in a world of angry sharks, be a starfish. Take care.